don't know what I would do, but somebody, they're getting their ass beat. to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is Paris Danielle um, I do hair tutorials I'm starting to do vlogs now and all other kinds of videos that I might feel like doing at the moment so to my returning subscribers okay y'all already know how it goes I'm trying to get more interactional did I say that right and I'm just trying to connect with y'all so <laughs> I was just trying to make sure I put out more of these videos. So I told you guys to send me questions on Instagram and I wanted to do a juicy Q&A because I just felt like, my don't get me wrong, my channel is not rated R but it's not necessarily for kids either. Like I'm not, I don't make necessarily PG content. So if I already know, I'm probably going to put a disclaimer anyway, but if I didn't put a disclaimer, hello, if you're a parent and you can't see me but you can hear me. And your kid is watching me tell them to not watch right now this is not the video this is for 18 and over okay this is not for children so your kid got the little ipad or whatever or the phone tell them to turn it off or take it from them because we getting real wrong today because y'all was fiending with these questions i was like you know what i'm grown so i'm gonna answer these questions <laughs> okay so okay before i get into the actual video i just do want to shout out the sponsor for this video which is you nice hair if you don't want to hear about the details of my hair you can skip to this time slot right here and yeah so first of all i work with um you nice hair all the time and they are a unit i said they are units they are aliexpress brand yesterday i did my hair i did this nice arrogant tay inspired hairstyle and don't get me wrong let me tell y'all this too so, I hope I don't look too washed out. If I look super, super bright, I'm sorry. I be having to work with, like, different lighting settings in my room. But anyways, yeah, so I worked with them for a while now. And I did this hairstyle, obviously inspired by Arrogant Tate. And I used to do flat twists in my days, like, when I was younger, younger, and, like, really starting how to do my hair. That's better, because I felt like I was looking a little washed. Don't want to look washed. Anyway, so, yeah, I've been doing flat twists since I was younger. But for some reason, if you go watch the video, I'm going to link it down below. If you watch that video, I was having so much trouble because one of my hairs is super long and I didn't do flat twists in so long. So it was a little challenge getting this hair done, but other than that, the knots bleach perfectly, as you know, or if you may not know, some companies, their lace quality isn't so great, okay? And I just feel like I'm happy to say that they have really good lace quality. The hair, if I had to rate it, I would say about an 8 out of 10. I did get body wave here and I tried to straighten it to the best of my ability. So hopefully it's straight enough. And the hair is really good as well for it to be an AliExpress brand. Once again, if I had to rate it, I would give it an 8 out of 10. This hair did originally come body wave. So once again, as you can see if you watch the video, I had to straighten this hair. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, it just got straight. Why did I just get this body wave here? I don't know. Maybe I was planning on doing something else and it didn't quite work out that way so i did that and i had three bundles of 26 inches with a 20 inch transparent frontal and i don't like getting medium brown like brown dog brown whatever i don't like getting lace that's already i guess tinted because i just feel like you can't reverse it so if you get it and you think it's gonna match your skin tone and it doesn't now you're really in trouble because you're gonna have to take you know use makeup to cancel out certain things and then you're just gonna it's just gonna be a whole mess okay it's just gonna be a whole mess so i would say if you do order some hair any hair from anywhere make sure you get a transparent lace and buy what the a concealer that matches your skin tone you can buy i don't recommend foundation it's too liquidy i don't know how messy it might get so i don't recommend that you can use um powder you can use lace tint you can use like whatever works best for you but i did the transparent lace i customized myself and I strained these three bundles of 26 inch body wave. So if you are interested in purchasing, I will make sure I link all their information down below as well. So with that being said, let's get into this Q&A, okay? All right, so I want to say we're going to start off light and then get crazy. But these questions are everywhere and I didn't like, I didn't order them in any kind of way. So I'm just going to say them as I'm reading them. As you can see, you guys submitted some questions, so I'm going to make sure I answer those. So, yeah, this is a lot of questions. Let me see something. 
All right, yeah, I could do a little quick, like, minute for each. I gotta, I don't know, I gotta just try. All right, so the first question is, am I in a relationship right now? I'm not in a relationship, but I'm not available right now. I'm not going through something, but I'm kind of going through something. It's like we're in a weird stage, but I'm not available, but I am single right now. And don't be alarmed. I know I see my mannequin head in the background. Y'all probably gonna be like, what the is that? Just scared the shit out of me. Look, I'm sorry, but this is her corner, so I ain't gonna move her for y'all. So y'all gotta just, I can't deal with it. What would you do if you found your nigga in your bed with another girl? First of all, I get locked up, let me out. Lock me up, throw away the key, baby, because somebody got to die. Now, don't get me wrong. Let's think rational here. Yeah. Let's think very rational. I don't know what I would do, but somebody, they're getting their ass beat. And I just feel like if I don't even know, like, I want to say, yeah, I'm about to, I'm going to shoot a bitch and I'm going to stab her up and I'm going to. I just feel like that's I'm not so dumb to make dumb decisions like that that'll put me in jail because Lord knows I wouldn't last one second in jail I'd be out sorry I didn't mean to do it I was kidding I can't live like that so I just feel like I don't know I would just I'm swinging I'm swinging and if it gets crazy and I just so happen to you know knock you upside your head with my laptop you become unconscious you're in my property honey because I would never, let me tell you something, this is a little bit off, but I would never be in a man's property. And by that, I mean, if I'm living somewhere, like living, my name is on a lease or our name is on a lease. Nowhere that doesn't have my name on paper. So this is my shit. You're trespassing, so I can kill you depending on where I am. So if you just so happen to die because I knocked you over your head with a laptop, then you should never been here. Next time, that's when niggas smartly, because nine times out of ten, you probably knew you had a girl. And if you did it, and I don't know, that's the sticky situation, because what if she did it now? You see the girl stuff in the room. Like, I don't know. Girls be knowing they be trying to act like they don't know, but they be really knowing. So, somebody just get knocked upside their head, and I'm not going to just beat her up. I'm beating him up, too. Like, it's just going to be the Roy Rumman here, basically. So, that's what I would do, okay? I don't I don't know. Because I don't, that's, that's a sticky situation so all right let me calm down i got me riled up a little bit i gotta lay it down my feel do you have a crazy sex drive um i actually do but i'm very weird with it like i'm not i don't know i think it's because i don't have sex often that when i do it's just like a ticking time bomb like relax relax you're gonna hurt me and i'm talking about this is his words like calm down you bugging like you bugging out like I don't know. I guess it depends on what mood I'm in, but I don't do it like a lot. I don't have sex a lot, so possibly I don't know. <laughs> I'm not doing this with y'all. I'm not doing this with y'all. What is the most craziest party you went to? By the way, I just started watching you and I love your vibe. Thank you, honey. And um, the most crazy party I went to. Once again, I don't party like that. So the craziest party I did go to was in the Hamptons and um it was just crazy from start to finish <clears throat> first of all when you have to go down the path because it's like a, a isolated area so when you, first of all we had to drive about two hours to get there and then on top of that we had to go down this long path just to get to the house the house is so like isolated and secluded so it's just like there was this long dirt road that you have to drive down this night. There's no lights. The only lights that you see is from cars. And it's only a one-way, like, path. But somehow, the cars, like, had to kind of be on the grass on each side to, like, go in and go out. So once you drive it in, you can't make a U-turn. You have to just keep going all the way till you get to the house and come back. Long story short, that was crazy. And um, as we were going, driving down, we seen a car coming this way. He had a shotgun out the window. I said, oh my God, Jesus, today's a day. I'm sorry, I'm not ready. Just give me a week. Give me a week. I'm not, I just can't. I'm supposed to get my nails done. I can't do this. I was just so scared. If I could find a video of us panicking, then I'm going to enter it in here somewhere. Yo, they trying to set us up. Uh, what the fuck? This, this night cannot end like this. No. That's pretty much what happened. We got us out. It was supposed to be a Halloween party. A fake hat on this fake Halloween outfit. And they was in there like regular clothes. It 
is a hood party. I'm thinking it's about to be a hood mansion party. Like, I mean, I'm thinking about to be like a mansion party. We was, it was, it was a weird situation. It was like, it, first of all, it wasn't a mansion, number one. They were charging way too much to get in. I'm not paying that, hello. And on top of that, we get a side, it's mad hood niggas. Like, more dudes than women. Like, we get upstairs, mad gangbangers and all that. Don't get me wrong, I like that thing or whatever. But that's not what I was expecting. It's mad dudes in there. Don't get me wrong, with my friends, so I feel safe. But I'm just like, and most of, most of my dudes were, I said most of my dudes, most of my friends were guys too. It was only like two of us girls two or three of us i think it was it was like six of us so it was either three and three or two and four something like that but they just doing their gang stuff it's a party upstairs a party in the basement it's a party on the second floor you know they drinking it's once again it's barely girls there some girls do have on um costumes and stuff but it's, it was pointless it was like you could literally it's probably like out of like the 50 to 60 people that was in that house no Cause the basement was packed they tried to have like a celebrity come and perform where is he performing the fuck like this is not a mansion hello um yeah and it was just it was just so much going on but that was the craziest nobody got hurt that i know of but it just was a false advertised kind of situation so what's my biggest turn on for guys easy question i like men with great hygiene i like men with manners I like men who have ambition. Um, I like men who know how to keep a conversation. These are all turn-ons. Um, nice teeth. Good turn. Um, that's a great turn-on. Um, nice skin. I love nice skin. Um, let me see. I like a little bit of jewelry and tattoos. That's a turn-on for me or whatever. They know how to dress. They know how to carry themselves. And I'm not saying you got to be dripped down and designer, but... If you know how to dress and carry yourself and for me your nails is clean and you got your little jewelry or whatever, it's like a turn right. Mm, you boy? <laughs> but yeah, so that's mainly like some of my turn ons. I can't think of everything, but those are like the main things that I focus on. Would you teach somebody how to sexually please you if they couldn't? Um, it depends. Honestly, it really depends on the extent of how much you have to teach. Sometimes you do have to teach people your love language. They might not have been exposed to that before. You know, their partner before probably is totally different as far as sexually pleasing than you are. So you just might have to teach them. But if I got to teach you everything, like uh, hold me here and, and stick it there and do that when you do this. And just, I don't know. Like... I don't know. It depends. Like, if I literally have to teach you everything and it's just not natural and it's just more so you're doing it because I told you to do it, it's not, I wouldn't want to be with you sexually or, like, probably be with you at all. But if it's natural and you're teaching me and I'm teaching you and we're, we're naturally, like, um, what's the word? We're naturally, like flowing with it then yeah it's okay if it's like that kind of situation one night stand story i've never i've never had a one night stand and i definitely don't plan on doing it i'm the type of person where love ties is a very real thing for me and i can't just be out here having sex with anybody and it's just like what if it was really good and i'm just a one night stand and it's just like oh my god i'm never gonna get it again like i don't know how that happens but I just I can't do it like I have to be in love with you because I like to love in a certain way you can't just do that with anybody you don't know if he got AIDS you don't know if he's just mm -mm -mm, somebody else like you don't know if you got somebody coochie juices you about to get all freak nasty with him and you all sucking somebody you know coochie juices or ass juices you know these men is real freaky nowadays so I'm just like I just can't and then it's like you gotta think about it as a woman you just wouldn't want somebody to have like that type of image of you like you don't want nobody looking at you like oh yeah i just fucked that and just dipped on her or whatever like you don't want a bad reputation with shit like that so you gotta be very careful because some girls don't understand that some girls don't care i care i'm not doing it next question okay first time trying anal oh my god <laughs> Y'all's too much. I can't. Y'all's really too much. Like, okay. First time trying anal. Um, <sighs> Y'all. It was just so, like, it was on a 
my drunk night and it was just so forced like it was just don't get me wrong it was moisture like it wasn't dry but it was just like we were just so like into it and he just was pushing it in and I'm just like dying inside like what the fuck he said just put it in my ear like bro it's <laughs> like it was just bro it just put like it just got like halfway in and then I was just like mm -mm, don't touch me don't ever do that to me ever again I don't like it don't stop just stop. I get we was drunk, but it's morning and I'm in pain. Don't touch me like that ever again. Like, I was so mad. I was so mad. So, I don't know, but. <laughs> yeah, that's enough for y'all. That's enough. Am I a tongue kisser or not? Um, I'm definitely a tongue kisser, but you don't have to tongue kiss for every fucking situation. Like, I tongue kiss when I'm intimate. Um, and that's about it. There's no reason for me to be like, all right, later, baby. Like, all right, baby, give me a kiss. And you're like, well, blah, blah. like, that's not necessary, okay? So, <laughs> I'm, yes, I like to tongue kiss, but I don't tongue kiss for everything. I'm pretty sure that's like everybody, though. I inspired you to keep posting when you were first getting started. Well, um, it depends. If you're talking about YouTube, um, I kind of already had a following so one i already had a following as far as social media besides youtube and i just i don't know y'all i just really like put it like this first of all i love what i do i love doing hair so i'm, I'm so used to always doing hair it doesn't seem like you know i had any getting used to as far as like doing it but posting and like actually recording it that's what was a little hard for me because I'm so used to working in my own space that once I started recording it was just like oh, I don't know if I could do this but then I started getting good feedback so yeah I guess that answers the question when I started getting good feedback and I realized I was helping people and I was actually making people happy I'm like oh shit like I want to do this more like I like making people happy this is what I like regularly without YouTube without anything so I'm just like you know what I actually like doing this and then I like the graphics me and my sister when I was in my dancing days some of y'all know when I used to be in my dancing days we used to record everything like whether it was on the webcam her little phone my little phone iPod whatever we used to record we like the graphics it was some app called um it was video something or video movie or um I forgot, but we used to edit videos all the time, me and my sister, since I was in like 8th grade. So, I like the graphics and I like everything. So, with me being able to help people, people actually liking what I do, the graphics, and then the fact that I actually love what I'm doing, it was just like, I want to create more. I want to give them more visuals. I want to, you know, just make it exciting for people and make it exciting for myself too. So, that's pretty much how that worked. Would you resell your wig you made on AliExpress Brands? Um... I already did this once before. It was a little bit of a lie. I did need more preparation, but um, yeah, I would. But it's not gonna be often. People ask me this all the time, yo. That was a one-time thing. I just felt like I had bags and bags and bags of wigs. Why not just give it away if it helps somebody else? So that's what I did. Um, I don't plan on this year. I might do it because I think this year I don't want to say it and then I don't like you know follow what I say, but. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing AliExpress brands, like, uh, doing tutorials for them that much this year. I'm trying to get more into my own brand, the Paris Daniel Collection. So, I don't know. Like, I'm into it, but I might just sell my wigs and then just start doing my own thing. So, to answer your question, yes, but I don't know. Like, I don't know when. Have you ever had a threesome? Because listen, lol. First of all, my friend sent me this and I'm weak because, oh my god, everybody loves their relationship. Um, have I ever had a threesome? No, I've never had a threesome. I feel like I'm too territorial for that. Like, I'll be like, oh yeah, we could get a girl, we could do this. And like, it'll be all freaky. Mm -mm. Like, you know, just all that. And then I'll be sitting there. You dead ass just fucked this bitch, bro? Like, bro, but you told me I could... No, bro, why would you listen to me? Like, why would you... You just cheated on me, bro. Like, I'm now I'm going to fight her because why would she even agree? Like, are you dumb? Like, this is how I... <laughs> this is how I'm just saying. I can't watch another woman fuck on my nigga. Like, I can't do that. I can't, like... And it's not even about insecurity. This is not about nothing. Some girls will be like, bro, that's cool. Like, we could do that. Like, for me, you said my nigga at the end of the day, I feel like you and your nigga have to be locked 
in. Like, y'all gotta be super locked in to do that. Like, so you just know nothing sneaky gonna happen behind your back. He's not gonna feel, you know, whatever, because she has to be attractive, right? You just manage it. I look, it's too much tied into it. And I don't care. It's not about age. It's not about none of that. I just can't. Mm -mm. I'm good. I'm not having no reason. Sorry. You got a booty ate like groceries before. If so, how was it? You like? <laughs> I think she went. Did you ever get your booty ate like groceries? Yes, I did before. Yes, I did like it. Um, it was really good. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking about this. <laughs> If my parents watch it, I'm sorry, but the way I told you to watch, I'm grown. Um, yeah, I liked it. It was really good. It was, oh, it was really good. Flashbacks, hello, come back. It was good. That's all I gotta tell you, because I can't get into it. This is not a, a, a fans only account. I don't know what they're doing here, but I don't want to get too graphic, so yeah, I like this. Um, what's my plans like for the future? What, what, what do I see myself doing in five years? So, my plans for the future, I'm going to still own a few businesses and my businesses that I run now are going to be very successful and I want them to be known nationwide. Um, but I, was, I want myself, like just myself as a brand, I want to be known nationwide for good things. Um, just for being who I am and just having people all over see. I mean, I have people from all over now, Trinidad, Ghana, um, so many places. So many people have hit me up, Jamaica, everywhere. So I get a lot of attention from everywhere, but I'm really trying to hold that weight, you know? But I want it to be very positive and about what I like to do and whatever I pursue when I get, you know, bigger. Um, damn, five years. I see myself with a kid. I don't know about kids. That's kind of you dragging in a little bit. I don't know about no kids, but probably a kid. Um, married. How old am I? 22. About to be 23. Definitely married. Um, own house, houses, own car, cars, properties, you know, into some type of business that would hold me down for years and fund me for... You know, I'm just, I would want to be set. So I'm trying to do everything I can do now so I can rest later. You know what I'm saying? So to so answer your question, I swear, I see myself. Can we be friends? I love you about paces. Um, I don't, I don't know. I saw your profile. Um, yeah, don't get me wrong. I be kind of weird with making new friends because I don't mean knowing people's intentions. But if I run into you and we click, hey girl, what's up? Like, you know, I don't know. I just, people would just be so weird. And I'm not saying you because I know you're probably going to watch the video. I'm not saying you, but I do know that people are very weird. And I just be so overprotective over my space and people energy and the energy they give off will rub off on me because I'm such like an uppity person. I don't know. So, yes, girl, we run into each other. You got good vibes. Hey, sis. What happened to your last boyfriend? Um, I love him. <laughs> I love him after so many years. It was hard, but I did what I had to do. And, you know, people are just not meant to be after a while and you shouldn't stay in toxic situation sometimes you gotta get up out of there so i had to get up out of there and that's what i did so you know not trying to back talk nobody but that just wasn't the situation for me missionary or doggy style definitely doggy i don't know what it is about doggy but it just drives me nuts like put my head through the wall something like rough me up like <laughs> Yo, oh my god, this is so funny. I like missionary too though, but I don't know. It's something about doggy. I guess I feel it differently as far as like G-spot and all that. Like I just feel like, especially if you can reach. <laughs> Stop. Um, doggy. I can't, I can't with y'all. I really can't. Um, somebody said, what's your first time, first time having sex? My first time having sex was... It's, I don't know it was just like I, I don't know it was just I don't know it was like it didn't it wasn't like excruciating pain because he wasn't super big but I just felt like I was already ready with him so it was just like a natural thing it wasn't forced or nothing like that it was it was, it was all 
like, it was, it was like nothing compared to now, cause <laughs> nothing compared to now. Um, best fight. First of all, I don't come down fighting at all, but um, let me see. My best fight had to be um, shit. I don't know. I don't know because. I feel like the fight that I really was like getting it on, getting it on, like it was the ending turned out to be super unfair as to people holding me down. Hope people like six people. I told this. I just recently so told this story time. So if you want to check it out, you can go look. But I um, what you gonna call it? They was it was like six people holding me down. And like two people on the hunt down, she was getting mad at her hits, but we was really getting it on now. I'm not even on front. Um, yeah, that was probably the best fight I ever had. I want to say another fight was the best fight I had, but they were so long ago, y'all. I don't really be fighting. Like the last time I fought was in high school. I don't be fighting. Like I'm lying to y'all. I'm lying. I just remember this fight I had. Um, I had a fight. Um. Two years ago, I had a fight two years ago. Um, what's this? 2020, I had a fight two years ago with this bitch. Oh my god, she was such a dick rider. Every nigga I was with, she was dick riding him. Oh my god, please get over it. Um, was it a best fight? It was a crazy fight. I don't know about no best fights. I never lost a fight. That one fight that I was just telling y'all about before the start, I, I didn't lose, but I felt like I lost because she was getting more hits when they was holding me down. I'm just like, bro, she's mad big. Like, she wasn't super big, but bro, she's way bigger than me. Why is it 60 y'all holding me down and two y'all holding her down? Like, like I know, like, and y'all let her get her hits. I was so mad, but anyways, the fight I had two years ago, it was, um, it was crazy. The tip popped out. It was Labor Day. I popped on her first, like... The only thing I regret is the way I did it because I just felt like, first of all, you, first of all, I tapped her. I said, so you wanted to fight, right? And I just felt like I didn't want to sneak her because I could have. When we was walking past each other because I was with my um, float on the Labor Day Parade and she was like walking kind of on the side of the float. So we, we was walking like opposite directions and she saw me and I saw her and I'm looking at her. She's looking at me. She just walked past. But our prior argument was we were supposed to fight and it's on site. So don't on, don't see me on site and don't want to fight because now we got to get it on. I don't play that. So I tapped. I was like, you want to fight, right? I gave her a fair chance and you feel me? She, we got it on. And I just felt like the way she was carrying on after because my father tackled me. That's a whole nother story time. Maybe I should tell that story time. I'm a, you know what? I'm going to tell that story time. I am. I had a, the crazy part is I have another story time about the same girl. About I was a side chick or a side chick. It's the same girl, different boy. Can you believe this? Like, she's just obsessed with me or something in my life. Give it back. You want it? The fuck? But, um, yeah, I'm going to tell the story time on that. But, basically, it was, it was a stupid fight. Um, the reason was very stupid. It was because of my um, ex-boyfriend. In a couple of past little sneaky things she did, but it wasn't like I guess let's fight over it. But this one, I wasn't playing with this one. I was one of them girls like you try to talk to my man, my man is entertain you. I was real dumb and very digmatized, like in faking love. So it was a lot, but I guess that's bad on that. Have you ever cheated on a nigga and why? Um, have I ever cheated? Well, no, I never cheated on a boy, but I'm sitting here thinking. Um, I never cheated on a guy, but I do know if we're like broken up temporarily and I know that you're messing with other girls, I'm going to talk to other dudes. If somebody want to take me, I'm going to go on a date. Like, are you dumb? Like, I'm not going to, if somebody texts me, FaceTime me, I'm going to answer like, you for me? That's only if I know for a fact that you're messing with other women. If I don't see you doing nothing stupid or we're not, like I don't have legitimate proof of something, I'm going to just hold it down. You just never know. And this is in the between stages too. I'm going to just hold it down. Like I've never been the type to, you know, just be ready to up and wild. Plus I can't handle the heat. I did get caught up once though and I didn't cheat but I was talking my shit and this was 2014. I was dating my ex who had passed away god rest his soul and um 
my ex before him, they wound up being like, like knowing each other through the Facebook mix. So I asked him, my boyfriend at the time, I was like, y'all, like y'all friends or something? Like y'all know each other? He was like, nah, we just was in some Facebook chat or whatever. You know when Facebook chats was lit, everybody in there, like, you know, stuff like that. He was like, I know him through there. I was like, all right, cool. But speed up, speed up time to when that happened, y'all, I knew he was, I kept catching him talking to his ex, liking her stuff, loving her, no, loving reactions was out. Yeah, he was liking her stuff. He was commenting under her stuff like he was all over his ex's stuff and i knew that you know i knew he probably still had friends for her so my ex was texting my i was holding it down for a little minute i was holding it down while i knew he was doing stuff to me and one day i was just like no fuck that like i'm tired of always like letting people do stuff to me and i hold it down because i don't want nobody thinking like i'm a whole i'm a whole i took to multiple dudes like or even cheating like i just would never like amount to that but my ex had me and I was like, he he was asking me questions. Oh my God, yeah, I'm so dumb. I'm thinking about this. He was asking me questions like, oh, who's better? Who's bigger? I miss you. All this other stuff. Now, I didn't do nothing with him. Like, I didn't do nothing with him during, you know, me and my boyfriend at the time. I didn't do nothing with him, but I was talking my shit through text. He was talking to me, I was talking back, but little do I know I was getting set up the whole time. Oh my God. That's another, oh my God. That's, I got a few stories on. Maybe I do got a few stories on to tell y'all because I just don't even want to make myself seem crazy, but I do got a few stories to tell y'all. Maybe I might just tell y'all that story. But y'all got caught up and basically what happened was after me and my ex was texting or whatever, I'm thinking shit cool, like, you know, what, whatever. I think a week went by or something, and he texted me like, or was it a few days? I think a few days had went by, and he was just like, oh, um, he was asking me the same questions about my ex, and I'm just like, he's talking to me, and I'm like, who's better, blah, blah, I'm like, you, like, why are you asking me that? He's like, oh, so then who's big? I'm like, eh, <laughs> I see what's going on here, okay, I'm just like, Alright, I was, my heart was beating through my ass, bro. Oh my God. I was in the new park. Every, no, I'm lying. I was in Brooklyn Bridge Park. Everybody from Brooklyn know what Brooklyn Bridge Park is. I was with my friend Imani and Frida and I think we was with somebody else. But, um, I was in there crying like, oh my God, it's going to be all right. I didn't even do nothing, baby. She on me first. And I was just going through that whole thing. And then he started talking crazy. And they was posting like, yeah, bro. I, I'm like, bro. I said, oh, you got me fucked up, bro. Y'all not even bros. Y'all don't even know each other. What the fuck is going on? Y'all don't even. What's his real name? What's his real name? You don't know him like that. Like, stop playing. They was making me look so dumb. And I'm like, bro, but you cheated on me. Like, you really cheated on me. And all I was doing was entertaining text messages and stuff. And you know, I dealt with him. Like, you know this. And... I wonder, he was talking to me and shit, he was talking my feelings. So, um, I got right on that three train and I went right to, um, Utica. And we got to his house and we got it on. So that was, <laughs> that's how that story went. But yeah, I never cheated on nobody, never cheated on nobody because I'm so scared to get caught up, y'all. I didn't cheat, but that was like, I feel like one of the closest situations that I really like. I'm sorry, oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Like, I got to answer that meme because I was really dumb. What's the craziest thing that I ever did with a boy? Oh, my God. Mm-mm. What a shame. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> um. <laughs> Y'all don't leave me alone. <laughs> Um, the craziest type of thing, thing I've ever did with a boy. Okay, so, this is probably going to be the last question. So, the craziest thing I ever did with a boy, it was my ex-boyfriend, not my last ex-boyfriend. So, my first real relationship, that's what it was. So, my first real relationship, um, I was with him for two years, and we were madly in love from start to finish. That was probably my, that wasn't probably, that was my best relationship I ever had. He never disrespected me, never put hands on me, never nothing like he always on board with everything i had anyways 
craziest thing we ever did. We did a lot of crazy things. I'm not even going front. I'm not even going front. Like <laughs> certain things I don't want to say because <laughs> it involves other people. So I don't want people reminiscing like you got dead ass really like oh my god. <laughs> That's all I'm telling y'all. Y'all not getting nothing out of me. Don't ask me for shit. No more ever. Because I can't believe I'm about to say this. But I'm grown at this point. One day. Oh my god. I'm grown now. Because I know somebody's going to watch this. Oh my god. Whatever. Craziest thing we ever did was. Um, we went to the same school. Everybody knows who I'm talking about. If you know me. You know who I'm talking about. We were like the no offense if you spanish or mexican or anything but you know how they be like the mexican couples be in the hallway like every single class before class they gotta kiss they all on each other we was one of those so we went to the same school and <laughs> we went to the same high school and i think uh he had a guy one of us had a guidance counselor appointment i don't remember who it was but um we held some type of way in school mostly me um and <laughs> i know you're gonna punch me in my face like tell the story of the long one all right all right so one of us had a guidance counselor appointment and you know the guidance counselor was like you know all right yeah let me just um step out get my lunch real quick y'all stay in here and um i'm gonna close the door and don't let nobody in we said copy we was in there. And we was in there. <laughs> we was in there in the guidance counselor office. Quick little boom boom. Got on the body. We didn't get up out of here. We knocked on the door, came back like 30 minutes later. He said, Yeah, guys, you know, blah, blah, blah. We just sitting there like, Yeah, talking. Like, ain't nothing happened. I said, Oh my God. Did we just, we did a lot of things, but that was my heart at the time. Oh my God. We were so in love. Oh, Jesus. We were so in love, but. Yeah, y'all. That is it for this video because I feel like this video is probably going to be like 30 minutes plus. I did not expect to get so much questions, but if I answered your question, you're crazy because I know most of these questions are crazy questions, so you're nasty, okay? All up in the business, okay? But that will be all for this video. I love y'all. Hopefully, y'all. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Hopefully, y'all get to know me a little bit better because this was a, this was real juicy. This was crazy. And I'm going to do more Q&As depending on the topics. Not depending, but we're going to do more on other topics too. But whatever. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all in my next video. Make sure y'all comment down below. Turn on y'all post notifications because some of y'all been telling me that y'all haven't been getting the post notifications. And what the, like YouTube just don't want to see me win. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, make sure y'all do all that. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, loves.